Hey there, it's Ben Housel here and here in this tutorial we're going to cover a couple of very quick questions that popped up on a recent comment on one of my YouTube videos. So we're going to have a look at how we get the audio from one track to run underneath the audio from another track. Now and this is super easy to do in Final Cut Pro 10 and what we're doing is essentially is adding a, a second track of video or a second kind of connected track to the primary storyline that we have here. So if I have this clip here and we're not going to play back the sound because it's just a bunch of ocean and beach noise but we can kind of see how this is going to work here so essentially to keep the sound from this video playing and then to have another video or image on top all we need to do is drag down this clip so this is our second clip and drop it above uh, that video so now when we have this video playing we'll then cut to our second clip but that original sound from this other clip is what we hear when we see the, the kind of second layered clip so this essentially is what we would call a cutaway so basically we have the sound from one video on this primary storyline and then on the connected clip here um, we have the audio there still we can drop that right down so we can drag down that bar and drop it right down and then we can also trim this clip from the end so it kind of matches the duration of that. So basically now we have our video playing in the background and then it jumps to the second image. Now there are a couple of different ways of doing this and we're going to delete this layer to start with. If we want to place a clip on our primary or main storyline here one thing that might be tempting to do is to grab the blade tool. So now I'm going to use the blade tool to cut this clip in half and essentially now we've got a cut between those two parts of the clip. So if we drag down a second piece of video here. So now one thing I want to do before I do anything else is just make sure I move away from the blade tool. So back to the selection tool. And essentially what I've got here is one clip and then the next clip. Now we could, if we wanted the audio from this original clip to be behind that video, drag this down here, which is not necessary. I'm just going to do Command and Z to undo. What we can actually do is if we double click on the audio track here, we can do what's called an L cut and basically stretch out this audio from the previous clip until it reaches the end of that first clip. So you can see now if I drop down this audio, this first clip, 4912, uh, the audio is running below second clip and this is quite a neat solution it means that we still only have that one layer of editing and that can be useful in particular examples and then if we do this this way um, it means we can highlight and delete the second half of this bladed clip and there's a couple of shortcuts you can use to make that happen but I'm gonna edge away from those just to kind of keep this nice and simple so essentially what we have here is one clip with our audio turned right down and then our first clip with the audio continuing after the video has been cut so this L cut kind of format so let's just quickly recap with what we've done there. So I'm going to use Command and Z just to step back through until our clip is joined back together. So essentially there's two ways in which I would perform this task of getting my video track on the main layer with a different video above it. One is to drag down my video track, drop down the audio, and then trim it down so it matches the duration of that. And now we get the, the sound from the video on the primary storyline, but then the image um, on this connected clip or layer um, above that storyline. So you can see this is what's going to be playing through when we've finished our edit. So let's delete that. The other way of doing this, and there's kind of a long way and a short way of doing this, is that if we grab our blade tool, we can cut this clip in half. You can see it's cut in half here. And then we can quickly move away from our blade tool so we don't actually slice anything else up. We'll drop down this new clip. And then if we double click on the audio part of this first video, we can extend that out until it matches up the length of that second clip and then drop down the audio for that second clip. So this is our L cut here. Now, if we want to do this a bit more quickly, we'll just use Command and Z to step backwards and close this up. Then basically, if we come to the end of this clip, we can drop down our new clip. So I haven't sliced this or bladed this or anything like that. I'm going to drop this in here. Now, if I open up this clip, and then drag this back. Essentially, I'm trimming the video, but not the audio. So in one kind of quicker move, we've basically got that same effect that we would have done by kind of blading things and moving our clips around or adding layers just by dropping our clip down to the timeline, opening up the audio, and then trimming the video on its own. So that is the way that I would normally do this. So we'll just run through that one again. So we drag a video clip, 
Let's grab this one. So we drag a video clip down to our timeline, let the timeline open up so we can drop it in there. Go to the clip proceeding, double click, and then drag that video back and then drop the audio and trim this back until we snap to the end of that audio. And now we have this L cut. We can also do what's called a J cut uh, in the same way. So if I grab uh, another video here, let's drop this one in here. So I'm gonna drop down the audio for this one, double click to open up my video there, and then just drag this forward. And you can see we get the same effect. So basically now I have my video starting here with the audio from this second clip. So these are really the two main ways in which we're dropping that audio below a secondary clip. Now in this case, the second clip that we're using here that we've turned the audio down on is a video, but it could be an image. If you wanna have a cutaway to an image, then this would be one kind of smart way of doing that and kind of controlling the number of layers you've got in your timeline. And then sometimes it will be appropriate to actually drop things down as the timeline and have them as a connected clip as well. And that gives us a little bit of fluidity as well. It means we can have that audio from two clips underneath. So you can see I've got my one clip here on a second layer, and then these two clips on the main layer with the audio from those two clips, which is just the sound of waves and beats. So it's kind of a bit of a noisy mess, which is why we're not playing it back. But if it was voice or something like that, then we might use a cutaway like this to trim between two sentences to kind of cut out the ums and ahs that you often get when you're actually editing a video. So dropping clips onto a connected layer is useful. Using the J cut is super useful. So we can kind of have this audio running underneath different clips. And then also the, the L cut here, the same thing, but just trimming from the end rather than from the beginning. And then also we can do a bit of both. So we could have this clip trimmed down here as well. So we get that audio kind of running underneath two different clips there. So you can see I've got the audio from this middle clip underneath the clip beforehand and the clip after. And we can also mix and mash things as well. So we can have that audio mixing underneath and have a variety of different layers. And really the key is double clicking on that audio layer to expand it out so that we can edit it and cut it at a different point in time to our video. Now, one other thing that popped up in, in the questions I was getting was how do we kind of make a space uh, between two clips? So if we come to a clip at the end here, then basically when we use the blade tool to slice a clip in half and grab the selection tool to select these clips afterwards, we can't move them away from that original clip, it will basically snap them back into place. Now this is the magnetic timeline in Final Cut Pro 10, which is really super useful for keeping your edits intact and actually makes life a lot easier in a lot of respects. But as you're beginning to get used to it, sometimes you'll wanna be able to make that space on that layer. Now the tool that we use to do that is the position tool. So this third tool down here, that allows us to drag one or more clips away and it will leave these slugs either side or it allows us to drag a clip up and it will leave a space where that original clip was. So we can layer clips up in this way. And there are reasons for doing that. Sometimes you'll want to keep the timing intact for something like a music video and leave those slug while you position things on your timeline using the position tool. But I would say that 85 to 90% of the time I'm using the selection tool for most of the edits. So hopefully this is a good overview of how we work on the Final Cut Pro 10 timeline in some interesting ways to mix different tracks of audio with different tracks of video as we begin to edit with Final Cut Pro 10. I'm just gonna hold down Shift and tap Z, which is gonna zoom me to my entire timeline. So you can see we're using the L cut, uh, the J cut or the J and the L cut to kind of mix video and audio from different tracks, adding things as a layer above, and then obviously dialing down the audio from some of those layers. And then also using the position tool to pull clips up from the main storyline and leave that timing intact which is particularly useful if we have a music track underneath and we don't want to bump things further down the timeline out of place so hopefully those tips are useful for you uh, if you have any questions about final cut pro 10 then please leave them in the comments below otherwise i look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial